uh, I have been working in IT six years and three years in soft serve and soft serve business system. And uh, I want uh, say about my experience in uh, data quality uh, in real life. So <clears throat> we'll start. Um, you know, we will speak about uh, these questions. First of all, it's uh, what is data quality? Uh, it's uh, from data engineer part uh, and uh, some uh, from uh, business. Uh, what is uh, data quality important? Or why is data quality important? Um, what constitutes good uh, data quality in particular of the part of data engineering and how to make it happen? Uh, how to determine data quality, uh, advantages of high data quality, uh, also it's addressing data quality issue and uh, suggestion about my uh, experience uh, for the last three years uh, and uh, some examples. So first of all, um, what is data quality? Uh, data quality is the ability of data to meet um, the needs and expectations of users, business, and standards. Uh, it's information that is uh, accurate, useful, and fit for purpose. Second question, uh, why is data quality important? So um, I have five steps uh, for this. Uh, first is uh, business decision making. Uh, with uh, ongoing data quality checks, uh, business gets cleaner, safer, and better data, allowing for more focused analytics uh, and uh, clearer views. As a result, managers can be more confident in their business decision. Second, was, uh, second one is operational uh, efficiency and productivity. With high uh, quality data, companies don't have to manually verify a large amount of data, which can lead to errors and additional costs. So next one is very important, it, uh, it's company trust. Uh, customers and uh, partners can relax knowing their uh, data is being handled with uh, proper controls in place. Because uh, if uh, SoftServe have experiences uh, with another company, uh, this company uh, will work with uh, also another company and he can give good feedback for uh, our company and we will have uh, a lot of new opportunity, uh, works, uh, etc. So it's very important. Next one is uh, competencies. Uh, companies that fail to keep up with their involving data and current technologies run the risk of uh, failing behind current uh, competition. And next one, very important, it's new technology. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, other forms of automation have incredible potential. However, these technologies cannot be uh, beneficially if they are being um, fit poor quality data. Um, we know about experience with uh, ChatGPT. He was very cool and helped us. But after a lot of bad data, he was very down of the numbers of cor correct answers. Yes, it's about uh, uh, operation effectivity, customer trust, uh, trust, uh, and etc. So next one, it's. Uh, uh, what uh, constitutes good data quality? It's about six elements of data quality. Uh, first one, it's uh, uh, competence. Uh, it's defined as measure of the percentage uh, of data that is missing from the data set. Uh, for products of, or service, uh, data competence is uh, critical because it's how potential customer compare. And compare is... Uh, decision, answer, and et cetera. So it's, uh, mm, uh, it's very important. Like for example, in uh, if a product description does not include um, some data and uh, while all uh, other product description do, the is data is uh, uh, incomplete and it uh, can uh, ruin some uh, analysis. 
second was is timelines. Um, timelines measure how current or old data uh, is in any given time. For example, if you have information about your customer from uh, 2008 and uh, 2021, you have a problem with the relevant and uh, competence of the data. Next one is uh, validity. It refers uh, to information that does not conform the, to specific company formats, rule, and process. For example, uh, many systems uh, may ask for a customer's date uh, of birth. But you know, if you put data in wrong format, like uh, um, your day, months, uh, and year, and you put in another format, it uh, will provide a lot of um, miscommunication, maybe a fail in your system or your analysis. Uh, next one is integrity. Uh, so uh, data quality is the level at which the information is safe and uh, reliable. Uh, is the data true or uh, false? Yeah. For example, if your database has an email address for your customer, but you have um, but you have uh, two roles for this, and only uh, a mail address uh, is different. Um, yeah, it uh, will provide uh, some uh, wrong situation. And uh, next one is it's uh, unique. So uh, data uniqueness is when information in data set is found only once. The dimension of data quality measure the degree of duplication. Um, for example, a contact uh, in database, like, like I said in previous uh, steps, uh, it's uh, like two different email address. Uh, most likely you have um, 100 or uh, the same, but only one, um, like another email. It's also a duplicate, uh, but in your system, when you use this thing on group by, etc., uh, you will have like uh, another two rows. And uh, the last one is uh, consistency. Uh, data consistency means that the data is correct, valid, and synchronized uh, synchronize across multiple sources of system. Uh, in other words, data consistency ensures that information is uniform and up to date, avoiding conflicts uh, that can be created by, by mistakes. Uh, the next part in advantages uh, of high data quality. So uh, I will take five steps. Uh, first of all, it's better decision making. Uh, if you have uh, full data, you don't have any problem with this. Uh, your decision will be right, and uh, it's uh, minimizing the risk and maximizing operation uh, effectivity. Mm. Next one, it's uh, more effective uh, marketing. Uh, data quality plays a critical role uh, in many marketing process uh, from market uh, research to market segmentation. Mm, next one, it's uh, reduced costs. It's, um, this point has many uh, dimensions. Uh, thanks to the data reliability, your business can complete more projects in less time, uh, have better credit control and billing, etc. cetera. Mm. Next one, increase your productivity of analysis, analytical process. Uh, data quality metrics and tools can uh, graduate that only valid and correct data is used to make decision, which is turn increased productivity and trust in uh, business intelligence and business uh, BA uh, processes. And last one is increased customer satisfaction. Uh, nowadays, customers, uh, customer service is uh, a data-driven process that requires it up to date and verify information. Um, you know that customers today expect the most personalized, personalized uh, service uh, possible. Um, in example, uh, now I'm working with uh, Middle East, uh, like software and data engineer, and uh, we have. Uh, we work with BCG. It's the biggest uh, company, one of three biggest company in the world. Yeah, 
And uh, if we will provide a good work and we will not uh, have some fail, uh, we will have a lot of another project from this company. And it's very cool for for our resume, for SoftServe and uh, for all the company. Um, this, uh, in this step, I will provide uh, information about only my experience, not about some uh, rules, etc. Uh, so only my experience. Um, BA is your friend or enemy, uh, but uh, uh, it's the same. Uh, but you can uh, control this process. Uh, first of all, you need to understand how your system works and provide rules that will not cause failure. And if you don't follow, as this rule, you will spend um, a lot of time and um, it, uh, you will not handle this error uh, like uh, in real time. Since we don't have a lot of time and uh, uh, for this process and uh, BA is your, uh, your friend, yeah? So you need to provide all this process and uh, good practice when you have uh, some rule um, in Confluence or some another uh, what you uh, with what you working in your uh, company uh, write this rule and uh, um, I don't know speak with uh, BA PM and etc and uh, put somewhere this uh, next one about data manipulation and uh, control this process yeah. Uh, as data engineer, you have to understand that different data uh, comes in different ways. Um, you can have experience in microservice or uh, Excel, another database, data warehouse, etc. Uh, and we understand that um, uh, important about ID. So I have the basic rules for this. It's about uh, duplicate spaces and types. Uh, duplicates and types uh, just uh, do a check and discard them or leave one value. You also need to check with this with BA. And about uh, data types, um, thank the person, parents, as they send you data in Excel in text format, no dates, no numbers, etc. because it will provide a lot of problem if you have uh, like old client and uh, they will provide your file from another another formats uh, in Excel. Um, uh, K-mapping, if you have uh, data coming from different system, uh, you can also have a problem with collation. Uh, if you have this problem, uh, your, data, uh, your data will not join and uh, it's a big problem, you need to do something with uh, in previous step, or you can join also with collation, but it's not very good practice. Uh, so uh, also, um, uh, like I, I write, uh, I have a little bit experience when data coming from another system and have another ID for this, uh, the same uh, value. Uh, so in one system, it was a uh, unique identifier, in another virtual and uh, another it int. Uh, also a big problem for data in real life, it's a unique code and invisible uh, variables. Uh, I have this problem and uh, you need to check for character from Unicode and another language uh, because they may be invisible, uh, but they will uh, ruin your mapping. Uh, so uh, very often, uh, also very often, you is error with the size of the fields. Um, fields it's too small and cuts uh, the value or across the system. And uh, watch uh, for this because uh, in one month or two weeks you will have to optim uh, optimize this. And uh, also, uh, do not use. Um, Built with a big count like Varchar 1000 for birthday on etc. So um, you need to check this also. And um, also don't forget about your friend like uh, in previous slide. Sorry uh, about uh, like I write it's uh, de uh, delete with output and uh, try cast. Try cast can provide you 
uh, data without some uh, mistake because if you have now uh, don't push this data uh, or check with uh, clients because you will have in um, situation uh, you can have duplicates and you don't know if you need to load all this data maybe you need to load only one from duplicates or all problem with this you you will not run and you also need to check um, so uh, in conclusion I want to say it, it's great to have rules and follow them together with the business uh, uh, analytics but be careful and debug everything you can uh, you can uh, uh, create understand uh, um, whether you need to delay it and uh, check uh, the bug and uh, follow the rules code conventions is also need because um, maybe you will need to mentor it someone or someone else uh, want to take your code uh, like um, Mm, like example and if you will uh, write something wrong uh, these guys also write like you and it will uh, provide a lot of error in your project in future uh, and it's a very uh, very big uh, trouble if you don't have code convention uh, or uh, code review so uh, check this because uh, this uh, will reduce the ri uh, risks and simplify your work. Thank you. I guess it, it uh, was last slide, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Roman. Guys, maybe someone has any questions about uh, this presentation. Please unmute and ask.